Today we're going to talk about sports injuries and chiropractic. Joining us as always is Dr. Jim Klimovich from Klimovich Chiropractic and his partner, Dr. David Foltz. Guys, good to have you on the show. Thank you, Dave. Nice to be here. Jim, let's begin with you. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, sports injuries. Um, you have a couple of different types, sprain and strain. Tell us about that. Well, most sports-related injuries, when you, you take it down to its simplest form, are sprain-strain type of injuries, meaning that either the muscle or the tendon or ligament are affected. Uh, it can either be from overuse, performing the same type of motion over and over and over again, or some type of injury that occurs from... Um, say an athlete trying to cut on the field really quick um, and it, it creates an injury to that muscle ligament or tendon. And, and as far as relating chiropractic to help these injuries, how do you go about doing that? Well, most patients unfortunately look to chiropractic as just treating backs, uh, when in reality we treat many, many other uh, parts of the body, uh, specifically the joints uh, within the body, muscles and ligaments, tendon, uh, junctions and what it enables us to do is use different types of treatment modalities not just the adjustment or the cracking of the spine as most people look to it um, modalities such as electric muscle stim uh, different types of technique of stretching immobilizing joints with different taping techniques ultrasound um, those type of modalities I know you also speak of ART Dr. Dave can you tell us a little bit about that sure um, as Dr. Klimovich mentioned before, a lot of uh, sports injuries are due to overuse. Um, most athletes have to practice their, their sport over and over again, and that leads to these, what we call repetitive use injuries that causes scar tissue buildup and um, adhesions within the muscles that they use most often. And ART is just a way for us to really get in there, find the muscles that are affected, and break up those scar tissues and adhesions. All right, and uh, Jim, tell us a little bit more about your practice and how our viewers can get in touch with you if they'd like to. Uh, we, our practices are located in Sweet Valley and Shavertown area. You can contact us uh, by phone at 477-2778 or on our website at kcopro.com. All right, Dr. Jim Klimovich and Dr. David Foltz from Klimovich Chiropractic in Sweet Valley and Shavertown. Thanks so much for being on the show this week. Thank you, Dave. Star Trust's Grand Salon and Day Spa, they are back here in the studio today, and today we are talking about hair extensions. I have Kristen Marie here. Kristen, it's great to have you. Tell us, where do you start with hair extensions? Do you get a consultation first? You do. You get a consultation. Our consultations are free, so you can make an appointment anytime to come in, and we can discuss what you're looking for, whether it be length, volume, color. All right, and what do you do during that consultation? Um, well, I, I talk to the client about what they're looking for. Um, some people just want long hair. Some people want color without bleaching or damaging their hair. Um, so basically, I ask the client what they're looking for. Do you do different lengths of hair extensions? Yes, you can get, it comes in 20 or 24 inch, and we could cut to a certain haircut, or we can just leave it long. Okay, now, if folks want... Uh, highlights instead of just blended in hair that you can do that as well yes we can just do like a full head or a partial head of highlights for the, like, the summer or whenever okay now can you cut the hair can you curl the hair is this real hair it's real hair um, you can cut it you can curl it you can color it um, you just we don't recommend lifting it that's the only thing you can deposit color onto the hair but we wouldn't bleach it or anything like that if you were looking for highlights then we recommend just getting the blonde or a lighter color hair Okay. Now, once you have the hair in, how do you maintain it? Can you wash it like normal hair, and how long does it stay in? You can wash it like normal hair. We just um, recommend that you don't put conditioner at the cylinder where it's clamped in, only on the ends. And you just, we give you a hair care instruction, and as long as you follow the instructions that we give you, the hair can last up to two years. Every four to six weeks, you'll get an adjustment because the hair grows out from the root. So every four to six weeks, you'll come in, and we'll move the hair back up and reclamp it with the new cylinder. All right, wonderful. So if you properly maintain it, you can keep that hair in there up to two years. That sounds like a great deal to me. Now, if folks are interested in getting a consultation or even coming in to get the actual hair extensions, where can they find you folks? At www.startresses.com. All right, fabulous. It's Star Tresses Grand Salon and Day Spa. They are located in 40 Fort. Kristen Murray, thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. Thanks, Brittany. All right, fabulous.
Okay, looking at our question of the day, we're asking, do you think it's wrong for television shows to perpetuate stereotypes? Why or why not? Jill Balliott writes, quoting, it's a show. Why does it always have to be about race? It's not a stereotype. It is a concept of someone's idea who is Latino herself. Well, you can find us on Facebook at PA Live. Tell us what you think. You can also follow us on Twitter at PA Live. Every Ford certified pre-owned vehicle is given a 172-point inspection by Ford factory trained technicians. And every CPO vehicle is backed by Ford with 7-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty coverage. Plus 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, limited warranty coverage. So you can relax. It's covered. Now get 1.9% financing for 60 months. See our certified pre-owned inventory at qualityplusford.com. Homeowners tired of putting money into that old wooden deck, pressure washing, replacing boards year after year. It's time for Redeck from USA. Redeck is a revolutionary vinyl protective system that goes over your existing wooden deck for a lifetime of cost-free and maintenance-free enjoyment. For a limited time, you can save up to $1,000 or take advantage of 0% financing with our easy pay plan options. For a free in-home estimate, call 1-877-USA-3398 or log on to usaredeck.com. I love feeling safe. So at my fake house here, I installed a 12-foot electric fence. Good Lord. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> Remind me to send a fruit basket to my neighbor. What else makes you feel safe? Affordable coverage from Safe Auto. If you cause an accident, coverage from Safe Auto can help protect you from the costly consequences, which is worth phoning the neighbors about, assuming they don't hold a grudge. 1-800-SAFE-AUTO. Drive safe, spend less. About your accidents. We're here to answer all your questions. Pay your medical bills. Yes. Some. Depends. Perhaps. You want money for pain and suffering. Eh, we'll see. Maybe. We'd consider it. Mm. You call a lawyer? Why? You call the law offices of Metzger Wickersham? We haven't made a final decision yet. If you've been injured in an accident, tell them you mean business. Call 1-800-WIN-WIN-1. Metzger Wickersham. Right now. Bring your dog to work day? Not our best idea. Oh, it was a nice thought. Some business decisions are better than others. The best decision is switching to Verizon. Choose Verizon internet and phone, both with 99.9% .9 network reliability. All for just $89.99 a month with a two-year price guarantee. Plus, get an additional line included. It's all backed by a worry-free guarantee with no activation fees and more. Call 1-866-SOLUTIONS to sign up today. Verizon. video more than a hundred waiters gathered in London today for the city's first official waiters race some of Britain's finest each with a tray holding glasses and a bottle ah. of water ran around Brunswick Square several tray bearers failed to keep their bottle upright during the race while others used a discreet hand waiter to keep waiter more Perrier steady which is against <laughs> no the rules yes no Perrier <laughs> the winner a waiter from a Michelin started restaurant on Park Lane was pre presented with a golden corkscrew trophy. This was one of several events marking National Waiters Day. Who knew there was Waiters Day? And they're off. How about it? Well, the coastal area near Dana Point, California is a fantastic spot to see dolphins and other aquatic life. Common dolphins converge this weekend, which is famously called the Dolphin Stampede, and you can see why. Dana Wharf's whale-watching naturalist caught the whole thing on camera for our viewing pleasure. The dolphins worked themselves into a frenzy while getting ready to feast on bait fish. One guy got so excited he took an extra big leap right out of the water. Oh my goodness. It's like they're all excited. I know. I think they, they are. Go. I think they're all super excited. Where the, oh, there he is. There's the waiter. <laughs> there he is. All right. Well, a lawn balloonist falls short in his record-setting quest. Joe Barbera took a trip in his homemade aircraft in Washington State over the weekend. Barbera hoped to break the world record for distance traveled by floating more than 260 miles. Instead, he landed in a tree just 24 miles away. What a target. Search and rescue teams brought him down to safety just a few hours later. Hey, that looks pretty neat, though. But, he's up there. Uh, he's got to learn how to steer it. <laughs> All right, let's go to Dave Kaharchik. 
We're going to talk about other services offered by the Baroness Family Law Consulting, uh, particularly when it comes to custody issues. Joining us once again is the Baroness Julianne Von Schmeling from the Baroness Family Law Consulting in Wilkes-Barre. Julianne, good to see you again. Good to see you, Dave. All right, well, as far as uh, other offered services that you have, uh, particularly with regard to custody, one of the things you work with is supervised visits. Yes, that has become a, a, a frequent occurrence in the court system um, when one parent was, uh, for some reason, out of commission for a while and has not had to spend much time with the child, or if there were some uh, um, criminal activity or something like that, where, um, or drugs involved, that's a, that's a frequent one, where the courts require that the visit with the child is supervised by somebody, and it's often the few services that are out there that do that are usually pretty expensive. and. Um, we kind of offer that as a as a courtesy to the community um, with an hour we have trained professionals they're either uh, teachers or social workers and we can come either into the home or we can um, we can have it in our office actually we have a large conference room we have toys we have all kinds of things there so um, um, it, it's a service that we provide as well in our in our consulting end now, as far as child transfers, um, what type of services or, or things do you have to help with that situation? Well, we have, um, we found that uh, over the years um, that some children are traumatized by their parents' extremely negative interactions. Some parents use the, um, the child transfer situation, especially when they're younger, to get a point across to the other party and usually not in such a nice way and the children in the middle or the children really don't want to go to the other parent for whatever reason. It could be that they really don't want to go to that other environment or that they've been indoctrinated by the other parent. It's a hostile environment kind of thing. So what we're doing, we offer several different ways. So when, they, when they insist on doing it person to parent to parent, we are there and again supervise and actually videotape it so that we, we don't do anything. We, we would basically stand there and by us just standing there and, and iPhone taping, um, we provide a more secure environment for the child. But we can also offer um, the transfer to occur through our office where the child is dropped off by one parent and picked up by the other parent and where the parent don't have that direct interaction where the hostility can, can come out. That's the one we prefer and recommend. But, you know, depending on the court orders or custody situations, we can go either way. All right, and uh, as far as the parenting schedules, that's something I'm sure that can be challenging based on work and other issues. Yes, the courts are not prepared to go into.